We weren't black, but our music was black. And luckily we were accepted by the black community. It, it was R&B enough for them to accept the fact that this was good music. We didn't deny that their culture was Polynesian, but their music was universal. In crossover, you bet. And the Jets' second single, written by Zygmunt and Knight, was built to do just that. I loved Crush On You from the beginning. Plus, I was 12, so it was right up my alley. Just that upbeat tempo. I was a 16 year old. I, I had crushes on plenty of girls in school, and great to see it happen the way they said it was going to be. You must have heard it from my best friend. She's always talking when she should be listening. So, on Crush on You, we multi tracked Elizabeth vocally to get more of the first sound. They fit in the Minneapolis picture perfectly. Crush on You became a top five hit on the Black Singles and Hot 100 charts. 